Hey, what's up? So in this video, we will be talking about many-to-many -many relationships and we will implement them in Django models. So I will explain many-to-many -many relationships by an example. So for an example, uh, if I have here a post, so we have this post table already. Let's say each post can, or the user can assign each post to a specific category or many categories. So each post can be assigned to multiple categories at the same time. And also at the same time, each category can belongs to many posts. So for example, let's say we are building a, a blog system for developers. And when I create a post, I can assign it some categories or some tags. These tags could be JavaScript, web development, CSS, uh, PHP. So this is the post that I created. It has these tags and at the same time other developers can create as much as they want posts and each post can, could be assigned to the same tags I assigned my post to so this is basically the idea each post or we can phrase it like so each post could have many categories and each category could belong to multiple posts so this is the way we phrase many to many um, relationships and the way we do it we have two tables the posts table and the categories table and to have a relation between them uh, and this relation should could should be many to many we will create another table for example called posts underscore categories this will map these two tables together relation between the records and uh, you think you can think about it the way that we deal with many to many relationships in my in, in SQL and relational databases is we create another table and the posts will have a relation one to many with the post categories table and the categories table will have a relation one to many with the post underscore categories table so this is the way we think about it in SQL I think in code and after I show you the ER diagram it will make much more sense but let's just start with Django so first thing I'm gonna create the category um, app and inside of it I will put the category model so first thing I'm gonna open my PowerShell so first thing don't always uh, sorry <laughs> always activate your virtual environment okay so in Windows we already did this like this so now Python manage start up give it the name category and we will see we, we will see it here okay so first thing we need to register that this is the this stuff we always do okay so register the category okay after that let's actually go there and write our model so first thing i'm gonna import from common models our base model and let's create it so category will be will extend from base model and we will have a name of the category this name I will make it an enum I won't just allow the user to put any name that uh, the user wants I will just use an enum and in MySQL and Postgres and I think all databases enums are supported but in SQL Lite they are not uh, even though we can use enums and behind the scenes Django will understand hey he's, he's using SQLite so I'm gonna convert these into a strings I'm not gonna use the type enum uh, in Postgres for example uh, enum Postgres you, you will see that we actually have enum type as a column so when we switch to Postgres this will be enum and if you try to insert a value that for example not one of these sad okay or happy the database will throw an error now the way, I, the way I define my enums is I create a separate file. You, you can actually divide them here. At the end, they will be just a class. You can put them here. But just in case I want to use them other places, uh, I think it make much more sense to have them in a separate file here. So this will be called model underscore yeah, enums.python. And this import from Django dot db import models and the class category names so the name of the field will be names and the name of the enum class will be category names i will extend model dot text choices 
and I will have these. I will just copy paste so I don't waste time. So this is my ENO. We have the general general category JavaScript, Python, whatever. And uh, by the way, in Python, from enums, from enum import, enum. This is how you define your enum. So you will have a class, let's call it x enum, and you will do the same exact thing. This is how you define enums in Python. But to define an enum that will work with the Django RM, you will do the following. You will extend the text choices class. Okay. Now let's have the name property. This will be models.char field. Char fields always require you to add max length. So I will add max length of 20. Um, I don't think that matters. If we need if we need it to extend it, I will just extend it, right? So null false, of course. Now choices. This will be let's import our enum. So from the current directory, this means the dot means current directory. Import or from the current directory go to model enums, import category names. And the choices for this field will be category named choices, and the default will the default value when you create one will be you know which is this one here. So by default, if you didn't assign a category, it will be general. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this model. Now we need to add a relationship between it and between the post. And if you go to the Django many to many documentation you will see that the only thing required is that you will go to the other table for example the post as you can see each article have many publications and each publication can have many articles this is how you read this or a way to read this and here the only thing required is you put this model dot many to many field and you'll give it the other model name and behind the scenes, the Django will create this third table and assign foreign keys uh, in a one-to-many relationship, just like I explained before. But I personally don't like this. I need to have a control over that third table because I might need to query it in my application or I might need to add extra columns on it, right? By default, it will just add, in this case, it will just add the publication ID, article ID, and ID, and that will be primary key for the current uh, record and just three columns but in some cases i need to extend that and i'm gonna show you the that case because i think this is really simple and it's not useful actually so uh, to do this i'm gonna create a third model and i'm gonna put it here in the models in, in the post app because i don't want to create its own apps then when we import from uh, from each app into the other app, we will have we might have some circular dependencies issue. So I'm I'm just gonna put it here, um, and, and that's it. So if you go to the post model and start typing that model name, I will made it, I will name it category post, and it will just extend from the base model to add the created add and updated add fields. So these are two extra columns that we added for this uh, table that combines or that represents the many-to-many -many relation between these two tables and the first column I will add or the third column is the weight this is the weight like uh, of the tag so sorry the weight of the category if the category is important you will put hey this post is talking about JavaScript general web development or uh, API's but it's really focusing on JavaScript more. So it's like the weight of the category on that post. So at some point when we create filters, this will be very important. We will filter based, hey, I want the JavaScript posts that have a weight of uh, important on top of JavaScript, something like this. So I'm, I'm trying to make it a little bit complex, not like super basic, that's my idea here. So to do this, I need here to add some enums, or you can just add a char field, but I'm gonna use enums, uh, they, are, they help the readability so I'm gonna create a file called model enums here as well and just in case I need to use this other places um, yeah so class this will be weight and this actually import from Django DB import that models so this will extend models or text choices and I will just copy paste important um, little kind of relates so these are the weight of the category assigned to each post and uh, yeah that's it 
so it's now imported from the current directory model enums import uh, weight and this will be models to char field we need always to give it max uh, length 20 null of course false choices will be weight dot choices and default will be equal weight dot kind of relates by the way if you wonder why from where these comes from so this is obvious this is the field that we define but from where this choices comes from if you go to the text choices you will see at some point if you keep going up to the like levels of inheritance you will see that it, these will be actually like generated from somewhere so as you can see it's a property and it's like properties in python on a classes if you have an instance and you call it choices on it uh, or in this case this is like an static property so if you call this choices this function will be activated and uh, yeah it will just extract the fields that we added and return them in an array and uh, yeah it will extract these so this is basically it just if you, in case you were wondering um, and now comes the actual linking between these three tables because we are not we didn't link them yet so first thing this category post or let's actually link the post and the category with this first so first thing the category could have multi the post sorry could have multiple categories like many categories so i'm going to call it categories and this would be equal to model dot many to many field and i will give it the category model and let's actually import that so from category dot models import the category and let's actually put it here and we need to give it a throw so by default if you just leave it like this django will create a third table and do its thing but no i went to tell it hey use my custom model so that's why you will pass it through and just give it this but the issue here uh, i think you know but uh, this is defined after this one right this is actually referenced before defining it so if i added this here uh it will work for now but at some point i will add here post to link this table with that so uh, at Django actually provide a way to fix this just pass a string and that's it now let's actually go to the category model oh yeah this will be just empty sorry now let's go to the category post here we will add this will have a relation with the post models this will be foreign key on the post table so on delete models.casket so if the post got deleted, just remove these tables, these records that are relate uh, that are relates to it. Now the post. So as you can see, each category post record will have a post or have a foreign key for a post and a foreign key for a category. So this is the same thing, but I'll just put here a category, and that's it. And uh, there is a link actually that describes how to do this. It's here in the models uh, feed. So I think if you go, it's actually somewhere here, sorry. Uh, I think if I search through, you'll see the example. Yeah, this one. Many, many t fields to the throw. It will explain to you and give you some example. I'll put a link in the description for this because I think it's really important documentation. Um, yeah, it's an important part of the documentation. So this should be it. I will put a link actually in top of this as well. So if you look at the code and get in GitHub, which the link it will be in the description, you will see this link. Um, I think this should be it. But I'm gonna just double check that we have our settings correctly. So yeah, we have category. So yeah, don't forget to activate your virtual environment. Now Python manage uh, make my patients okay now python manage show oh sorry yeah show migrations this will show you the unrun the migrations as you can see now just migrate and migrate this should be it this is open db but this is the video i'm done you can leave if you want i'm just gonna show you uh, the relationship in db a very highly recommended tool <laughs>
uh, I think this so if you see the tables now you'll see we have our post this is the ER diagram each post belongs to a user and each post have one to many relation with the post category table by the way this is called junction table if you want to google it but yeah as you can see we have the post ID foreign key to this and if you go to this uh, post category post uh, table you will see it has an also category ID pointing to the category so yeah and by the way remember that I talked about enums if you go to the category table and see properties you will see the name is varcar not enum because as I said SQLite does not support enums and Django is very smart it will just understand hey this guy is using SQLite and defined an enum I'm gonna convert it into, into a string and not throw any errors which is very nice so this is a very cool uh, feature I can just easily at some point switch my database engine and that's it and uh, I actually faced this in one of our projects and uh, turns out this is a very good feature the idea that I can write the same code for multiple databases sometimes it, it changes I need to fix some stuff but it's really a few things um, which is very nice so this is it for this video this is this is the basics of one many to many relationships uh, I hope this was uh, useful um, yeah I think that's it